Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial guys. In this one, I'm going to show you how to work with uh, Photoshop documents or any old vector type document that you load into After Effects. And we're going to look at the puppet and the pin tools. So we're basically going to make this uh, thing move over time and have like this cool puppety thing. In fact, the more importantly, we're going to look at the advanced pin tool and we're going to look at the starch pin tool. Um, if you're new to animation or if you're new to the puppet tools in After Effects, uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to. Plus there's some new stuff out that uh, is worth a look. So let's just start up here. I've got 565.psd which I downloaded free off the internet. Uh, I got it on freepick.com. It was one of the free vectors there so I'm just going to use that so there's no copyright issues and at the same time I've created a white solid in the background and if you're not sure how to do that let's just go ahead and do that you go up here to layer you go up to new you go to solid you select the color here hit OK make comp size and then hit OK and you will see that I have made a white solid so everything's kind of you know kind of kosher there. So I'm going to now make sure that I'm clicked on to the 565.psd or if you're following along whatever document you're using. And when you look at this 565.psd, when I drop it down, you are going to notice here that there's not a whole bunch of layers, right? This is just one solid document and we're just looking at the puppet tool. There are other ways, often better ways to animate using multiple layers and um, parenting layers and things like that where each thing you can move independently but I want to show you the puppet tool in the interim and uh, you can do some pretty cool stuff with this tool so anyways I've got this selected next up here is you want to go up here and you want to go right up here to your puppet tool now in the past there was puppet pin tool and puppet starch tool and uh, puppet overlap tool but now there's an advanced pin tool and there's also a bend tool so I'm going to show you the advanced pin tool. So I'm going to left click. I'm going to hold it down. And I'm going to make sure that I'm plugged or I'm, I'm hanging over puppet advanced pin tool. From there, I'm going to add pins right here on this guy, right on his tentacles here. So let's just do like here, here, and here. Let's do those three tentacles and one like right between his eyes. So you are going to see here that I've got four. I've got puppet and I've got four pins. I'm going to zoom in a bit and now I'm going to switch over to my selection tool and I'm going to select one of these and I'm going to show you what you can do. You can decrease the size like this where he's, where he's got like a little Beetlejuice hand. <laughs> I'm going to command Z to cancel that. I'm also going to go zoom out and I'm going to show you if we increase the size uh, you can move so we can do this over time so let's say we start there and then after like two seconds we want his hand to come in so we would bring it in like that and then maybe we want it to shrink in size so we would say do something like that where it's a little smaller now you're gonna also notice here that when I hover over when I'm hovering here you're gonna see that I have the arrow and it kind of follows a circular path that means we can also do a rotation. So I'm going to show you the rotation. So you can rotate it in, you can rotate it out. The issue with this is it impacts all of these other uh, parts here, especially right up here to the skull. So in the next section, I'm going to show you how we can sort of mitigate that. But again, you can make rotations here. If you want to rotate, move, move his head down, and then we're going to do a rotation of his skull you know what guys and then move it forward maybe to four seconds and then we're gonna pull his head out here <laughs> and uh, let's go for the rotation and we're gonna rotate it the other way there is an unlimited number of things I'm just gonna back it up to the beginning and just show you what we've got here so we've got him kinda just doing some rotating his arm comes in goes out again there's no real rhyme or reason to what we're doing here I'm just showing you the techniques that you can accomplish just with these pin tools now, the other part of this is I want to show you the starch tool or the starch pin tool so that when you make adjustments locally, like let's say we're going to make an adjustment to this guy's tentacle here, it's not going to pull in the rest of his body and his skull and all that other stuff. We want it to just sort of happen on its own. And that can be done with the starch tool. So I'm going to go here to Puppet 
and I'm going to hit delete on puppet and all of those are done and we are basically starting over from scratch again we're going to go up here we're going to grab the roto oops we're going to grab the, the puppet advanced pin tool I'm going to put a pin here I'm going to put one right between his eyes I'm going to put one uh, on that tentacle and one on that tentacle just to just to keep it nice and consistent now I'm going to click off and when I click on it when I click the tool here and I click on pardon me I'm going to click on puppet you're going to see I have those four green uh, dots and they're not real big I must admit the next step here is you want to go up to not that one damn it I keep hitting the wrong button this one here and you want to start putting in puppet starch tools Starch tools are basically kind of like when you get a suit starched, it makes them rigid and less flexible. So the parts that you starch up, they are much less likely to move. In fact, they become quite rigid. So I'm going to go a little over the top to show you how this works. So I'm going to starch right here. I'm going to starch across his tentacle just like this, right all the way up to his skull. And I'm just doing a lot of starching just because I want to keep this nice and simple and I want to show you how this works. I'm not trying to do an advanced animation here. I just want to show you how the starch tools work. So I've placed down a whole bunch of starch and now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go back to my selection tool. I'm going to zoom in again. I'm going to click on puppet and I'm going to go to the green one which is actually quite small. Now earlier on in the video you remember that when I started twisting and turning this um, advanced pin tool all sorts of stuff was happening to his face and to his to his head and to to this tentacle let's take a look at it when I grow the size of it and I'm, I'm increasing the size you're gonna see here I might just zoom out a bit and lower it down and zoom in you're gonna see here that it only impacted really the tip of his hand so instead of it pulling in his head and all that other nonsense that it does it actually is only working locally now I'm going to do some rotation now it does pull the top of the head a little bit and it does pull the the tentacle in a little bit but you do kind of in most cases you want a little bit of that organic look so it doesn't look like it's completely isolated if you didn't want that I will add you could add in even more starch points points here, 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 and across the top of his skull, and maybe some in here, so that it completely isolates it. But in this case, it just gives it that nice organic little bit of movement. But again, you're not completely, you know, warping your picture when you're doing your animations. And then if we were to do this over time, like let's say that time zero, this is the look we want. And then at two seconds, right, like I'm going to, I'm going to pull it, I'm going to pull his hand out a bit like this okay and then maybe I'll increase the size a little bit right and you'll see that the starch points are moving and then you'll see a very subtle animation let's see what it looks like very subtle over those two seconds where again when you, we started at the beginning it was very very you know it was abrupt and it, the skull and everything was getting pulled along with it so this is some of the technique stuff that you can do with um, the uh, puppet pin tools guys I have a few more videos for the pin tools so you can get even a little better we can even start doing some like walking motion and stuff like that but uh, that's enough for this tutorial guys thank you for joining me I got a lot more stuff coming up be back soon